So when your tests and trials seem to get you down, and all your friends and loved ones are nowhere to be found, just remember there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. If your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. For your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. As a measure to focus on player safety at all levels of the game, the National Football League, NFL Players Union, and the NCAA will donate upwards of $1 million to provide helmets to youth programs in low-income communities. The aforementioned groups have joined forces with the National Operating Committee on Standards for Athletic Equipment, and USA Football will administer the program. All helmets that are at least 10 years old will be replaced with new models, but most importantly, safety education will be provided to coaches as well. The program will commence in July and they anticipate they will distribute 13,000 helmets this year. For your quick news and notes, light heavyweight Phil Davis will make his UFC return against Chad Griggs on August 4th. Golden Board Promotion CEO Richard Schaefer said Monday that he has decided against putting on a planned June 30th Showtime card in Washington, D.C. because of the continuing fallout from the disclosure that junior welterweight titleist Lamont Peterson failed a random drug test while preparing for a rematch with Amir Khan and instead will move the special edition of Showtime's Showbox, The New Generation, to the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in Indio, California. Bulgarian tennis player Dimitar Kotrovsky has been banned for two years after testing positive methohexoneamine, which is a banned stimulant. President Obama welcomed David Beckham and the Los Angeles Galaxy to the White House Tuesday to celebrate their third Major League Soccer Cup and joked that the star-studded Galaxy, led by Beckham, midfielder Landon Donovan, and forward Robbie Keane, are the Miami Heat of soccer. South Carolina women's basketball coach Don Staley is the Black Coaches and Administrators Female Coach of the Year. Rookies Vicky Baugh and Lauren Dixon were waived Monday by the Tulsa Shock as they trimmed down their roster before the start of the regular season this Saturday. Virginia Commonwealth University is leaving the Colonial Athletic Association and will join the Atlantic 10 for the 2012-13 school year. University President Michael Rayo announced Tuesday. Art Monk, who led Syracuse in receiving three times, and Dave Casper, a consensus All-American on Notre Dame's 1973 National Championship team, were named to the College Football Hall of Fame on Tuesday. Ken McRoyal, a 22-year-old University of Idaho football player, was fatally shot at a weekend party in Los Angeles, and detectives were trying to determine a motive and a suspect, as McRoyal was in attendance for a photo shoot to promote a new women's clothing line. May God rest his soul in peace. ESPN Executive Chairman George Bodenheim will receive this year's Distinguished American Award for the National Football Foundation in a December 4th ceremony in New York. Major League Baseball officially will award the 2013 All-Star Game to City Field, home of the New York Mets, at a ceremony Wednesday at City Hall in Manhattan, baseball sources said. And finally, Brian McNamee testified Tuesday that he saved medical waste after injecting Roger Clemens with steroids because his wife complained that McNamee was going to be the fall guy and distrusted Clemens to a degree. And as the boring trial drags on, a second juror was dismissed for falling asleep. Oh, my apologies. I fell asleep telling this story. Huh? This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For rates and more information, please email naturallyrelaxed at gmail.com. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my brand new blog site, cjsports.com, and make sure you follow me on Twitter at cjsports. And tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment, where we sprinkle a little spirituality. <laughs> in your sports, I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a positive, productive, blessed day. And I leave you with namaste as the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you.